The policy covers all energy sources, but emphasis is on renewable energy. The main sources of renewable energy the department looks to tap into are hydro, solar, biomass and others with specific policies to be developed for these sources. Minister for Petroleum and Energy Karen Gakua says to drive this policy, they need to set up the National Energy Authority quickly. The National Energy Authority will be the main government vehicle to coordinate in partnership with PNG Power Limited to expedite the harmonization process for application of relevant regulations to all government activities in electrification. Kua says the department plays an important role in bringing to life the government's vision statement of taking back PNG and says this can be achieved by speeding up negotiations to stalled petroleum projects that are before the negotiating table. Put a lot of emphasis and a lot of speed into bringing these two projects forward, uh, perhaps to the point of signing at the, at the earliest because of the problems we have with the issues that we have with the economy. We need to announce make some announcements that this country's economy has, has a future. With only 14% of the PNG population having access to electricity, the policy aims to drive the government's development agendas by increasing these to 70% by 2030. The recent 2050 envisages that we give electricity for all by the time our recent 2050 date arrives. My government, our present government, tries to fast forward this and we want to give 70% of electricity to our country by 2025. He says electricity can unlock the country, making PNG the richest black nation by 2030. However, Marape also raised concerns on how the country's only electricity company, PNG Power, has not been able to make money even though this sector is monopolized. A company that runs a monopoly. How comes this company is still struggling behind? So hopefully this policy looks into our state of affairs in as far as generation is concerned, our state of affairs in as far as distribution of electricity is concerned, and our state of affairs in what has taken place in our mother company, PNG Power Limited. National Planning Minister Sam Basil highlighted the country's progress on achieving the Millennium Development Goal number 7. All countries are at different levels of meeting MDG 7. Some are almost reaching 100% electricity access for their countries, while others are not doing so well. And I believe Papua New Guinea, we are not doing so well and we will try our best with the launch of this very important uh, policy. Meantime, four APEC economies of USA, New Zealand, Australia and PNG have an existing partnership where U.S. made $1.7 billion available to roll out the National Electrification Program. Ruth Rungola, National MTV News.